So to get started, just head to the link in the description. And once you're here, you want to either select or create a project. I'm going to create a new project here. And then we just want to give our project a name. I'm just going to call it my test app and we can click on create and we just want to give it some time to create. It won't take too long. And once that's done, we can click on select project here. And then you want to go to APIs and services. And once you're here, click on credentials. And we just have to configure our consent screen. So just click on the button here on the right. And once you're here, you just want to select your user type. So we're going to select external because we want people from the outside coming to our app. And we just click on create. And then we just want to give our app a name. I'm just going to call it test app. And then we just want to give it our support email and then scroll down. If you have a logo already for your app, this is a good time to upload it. If not, you can do it later. And then we just want to get our domain set up here. So if you don't have a domain yet and you haven't set it up with your domain, just do your dev domain. So mine will be HTTP slash slash local host 5173. And if you're using React or Next.js, this is probably going to be 3000 here. And we just want to click on developer contact information. And we just want to put our email in there again and then we just want to go to save and continue and now we're on our scopes we don't really have to do anything here don't worry too much about it click save and continue and click save and continue again and scroll to the bottom and click back to dashboard now we can go back to credentials on the left and you want to click on create credentials and click on oauth client id and we just want to select our application type more than likely it's going to be a web app, but if it's something else, click on that. I'm going to do web app. You can call this whatever you want and scroll down and just want to have our authorized redirect URI. So that's the URL that our user will go to after logging in. So I'm just going to go back to the homepage, HTTP colon slash slash local host 5173 and click create. And that's it. Now we've got our client ID and client secret.